about perimeter. What is a perimeter? A perimeter or a circumference? A perimeter is the distance around the edges or the boundaries of a figure. So the outside part. And we are able to calculate the length of this boundary. And we can calculate the distance, which is also measured by the length. Remember when we started with the SI system, we talked about the length is always calculated with meters, but you can convert from meters to centimeters and so forth. We use the length most of the time to calculate the distance between the boundaries, around the boundaries. So we can also use um, simplification of calculations of the figure by looking at the properties of each. So it's very simple to calculate in, in, in a sense. It's very simple to calculate the perimeter because then the perimeter we're looking at the outside. So we just add all the sides together. So we can calculate the perimeter of a rectangle, a square, a triangle, and a circle. And we're going to follow each one of them and see how we can calculate the perimeter of each and every one of them. First, we rectangle has is made up of four sizes, four sides with two equal sides. So they are two sides that are equal at the top and at the bottom. And also on the sides, on the left and the right, the sides will be equal. And the top will be your length and your width will be on your side. And we use the, the length and the width to calculate the circumference or the perimeter of this rectangle. So it means we're going to add all the sides. So on this one, you must remember that this is the length is equals to this length, this side. This is the width is equals to this width, this side. To calculate the perimeter of a rectangle, we use the formula. C is equals to 2 times L plus 2 because there are two L's and there are two widths. Let's look at an example. Calculate the perimeter of a rectangle with the length of 30 and the width of 8. So it means this side is 8 and this side is 8. And this side is 30 and that side is 30 as well. And we're going to substitute. So our length, 2 times our length plus width, our length of 30 plus our width of 8 will give us 38 times 2 will give us 76. And therefore, our perimeter of this rectangle is equal to 76 meters. We look at the square. A square has four equal sides, so it means all the sides are equal. <coughs> So it means if this is a square, this side is equal to that side is equal to that side is equal to that side. The perimeter of a square, the formula is 4 times L because there are four sides that are equal. Calculate the perimeter of a square with the length of 80. So therefore it means this is 80, that is 80, that is 80, and that is 80. So you can add 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80. It will give you the perimeter or the circumference. C is equals to L times 4, which L is 80 times 4. It gives us 320. Therefore the perimeter is 320 centimeter. A triangle. <clears throat> a triangle has three sides. <clears throat> and if we look at this, let's say our sides are PQR, 
those are the sides of a triangle. To calculate the perimeter, we can add P plus R plus Q. And for example, <clears throat> calculate the perimeter of a triangle with sides 10, 7, and 6 centimeters. So it means we're going to add 10 plus 7 plus 6. We substitute into our formula 10 plus 7 plus 6 because P is, we can miss 10 and Q is 7 and R is 6. <coughs> C will be equals to 23. Therefore, the perimeter of this triangle will be equals to 23. The cycle. So the circle works totally different to the rectangle, the square, and the triangle. Why? Because the circle is a rounded figure, and to calculate the perimeter of that circle, we're going to be using what we call the circumference of the circle, which is the rounded thing, the inside. So, how do we calculate this? If we look at a circle, this is our circle, it's round, it has a point from this side to that, that side, and that we call it the diameter. So, the diameter starts from there to there. In the middle, in the midpoint, if we stop right there and we go this way, that is what we call the radius. Or even if we go that way is the radius, as long as it's in the middle. So from the middle to the outer side, we call this side the radius. And that is the radius. And that is the radius. The red line represents your diameter. Your diameter is from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle. When we calculate the circle, <clears throat> when we calculate the circle, we need to know what our diameter is and what our radius is. So our diameter is made up of two radiuses. So if we are here, this is radius one and radius two, they add up to be a diameter. So, to calculate the, the circumference of a circle or the perimeter of a circle, we use the formula 2 pi r. Now, on your calculators, you must go and look for this sign on your calculator. The sign pi r. You must go and look for this sign on your calculator. Sometimes if you are using a financial calculator, it's written in orange. So you will have to press second function and then press that side. Do not use 22 over 7. Do not use that to calculate your pi. Because then you're going to cut off some of the digit. We're going to use this sign on your calculator called the pi sign. Okay, let's look at how we calculate this. So to calculate the circumference, we use 2 pi r and our r is our radius. So let's look at an example. Calculate the circumference of a circle with radius 4. So to calculate with the radius of 4. Now, remember the radius, it is from the midpoint to the outer side. So we do not have to calculate or divide the diameter by 2 because our radius is already 4. We just substitute into that formula. So how do we do that? C is equals to 2 pi r. Remember, we don't use this, we use the pi second function pi times 4 and that will give us 25.13 and that's 
calculating the perimeter.